What's going on, everybody? I am Michael Anthony, and thank you so much for checking out my article in the October edition of Shutter Magazine. I'm really excited to talk to you today about something that's incredibly important, and that is building the foundations for a successful photography business. As many of you know, I have had a photography business for about nine years now. We had massive success right out of the gate, and the reason for that is because we took the initial steps to build a solid foundation prior to just going and launching our business without a plan. And I think that that's where a lot of photographers fail. I think a lot of photographers end up buying a camera, start charging for sessions, and because they feel like they're making a lot of money, they are not really working on their business and seeing the things that they need to improve. But I can tell you that when it comes down to any type of business, and this isn't just related to photography, the most important thing that you can do is work on your relationships. Relationships are the thing that drive your entire business, and I have talked about this in many other Shutter Magazine videos. In fact, I have told you many times if you've seen me speaking live that relationships are going to be the thing that drive your entire business from your marketing to your sales and to every other aspect that comes down to your success. Now, when we talk about relationships, we developed early on a framework that we use to go about all of our selling and all of our relationship building. And we call that our Elevate Framework. And what that stands for, it's an acronym for different models that we use to, uh, to build a relationship with a client and eventually get them to buy our product. The first part of that acronym, the E, is empathy. Without empathy, you are never going to know what it is, what problems that the clients have that you want to solve. So it's very, very important to put yourself into your client's shoes and make sure that you're understanding exactly what they want out of the relationship with you. And when you do that, let's just say you're a wedding photographer, you can start to empathize with the problems that they have. And the problems that we are always trying to solve is that of memory. We are trying to make sure that our clients are able to remember all of the most important parts of the wedding day. So having that empathy for them is going to make sure that you're able to do the next thing, which is to listen. Listening to their problems is incredibly important because when you are sitting through a sales session or you're sitting through a consultation, by listening to people, you're able to find out exactly the problems you need to solve and what you need to present to them when you start to sell to them. The next step in the Elevate process is to listen. Without being able to listen to your clients, you are never gonna know what you need to say to succeed. In fact, back when I was uh, selling cars years ago, I learned that the most successful salespeople, the, people, the salespeople know that the professional professional salespeople, the ones who had the most success, they tended to talk a lot less than the amateur salespeople. And the reason for that is because when you're listening to what your clients are telling you, you know exactly what you need to do to sell to them. For instance, if I am sitting down with a client and I ask the right questions, questions like 15, 20 years from now, what do you want to see when you look back at your wedding album? And they tell me, we want to see amazing moments with our family. We're going to have everybody together for the first time in a long time. And we really just want to take in the moment. I'm not going to go and highlight all of our portraits in epic cinematic work to them, because that's not necessarily what's important to them. What they just told me is that they want to see photojournalistic moments. Had I not asked the right question and had I not listened to their response, I would never know what to highlight when we get into the value building portion of our sales presentation, which is incredibly important as well. The next step in the Elevate framework is to build on their emotions. You just learn by asking the right questions exactly what you need to tell people in order to sell them your product. So if they get emotional about moments, you have got to share show them a lot of moments. And you have to make clients feel like they are in the exact in the photos that you're showing to them, right? That is really important because it's just like driving a car. If you go and you test drive a car, it's because you want to understand what that car is going to feel like when you're driving it. Well, we have to kind of do the same thing when we're selling portraits to people. We have to walk them through the journey of another client if we're selling a wedding album or if we're selling portraits. We have to show them all of the emotion that we're capturing through our images. And then we have to go and we have to translate that into our sales presentation. And when we do that now, we're actually talking to our clients' problems and we're solving those problems that our clients have. After we do that, after we know what we have to sell them, after we start selling to their emotions, next we have to build value in the products that we're trying to sell. And the way that we build value, this is really important because again, sales is all about perception of value. Getting people to buy something for you means that you have to convince them that it's worth parting with the money that they have, right? And you can only do that by showing them the value in what you're selling. So we typically do this if we're talking about IPS or if we're talking about products by putting products in their hand, by showing them things about the product that they not, don't necessarily see uh, or they didn't know existed. By looking at the, uh, the canvas and showing how the corners wrap around and talking about how they're handmade by one person or by talking about how the wood is custom cut for the canvas itself. All of these little things are part of building value. If you're selling yourself for the first 
first time during a consultation, you're gonna talk about your process of going through a shoot and how you go about creating unique images for people or how you go about seeing something and then creating it in the form of an image. If you walk people through those processes, you're building value and you become much more than a picture taker, you become a storyteller. The next step in the Elevate process is to build trust. Nobody buys anything or even forms a relationship with people that they don't trust. And coincidentally, when we're selling to somebody, ultimately their guard is immediately gonna go up, which is why I highly recommend, if you've ever read books on sales that were written before 2010, I recommend that you update with some current knowledge from experts on sales. And the reason for that is because sales years ago were very, very different than they are today. Today, sales are based on trust and connection with an individual as, a, as opposed to a brand as they were back in the early 2010s and before that. So people wanna connect with your, you as an individual and in order to do that, they have to trust you. Now, if you've done everything that I've said up until this point, if you uh, had empathy for them, if you listened to their problems, if you sold to their emotions, people are naturally going to begin to trust you. So it's really important that when you're going through this process of developing relationships with people, you give them a reason to trust you, right? You have to take their best interest in mind and you have to guide them into the things that are the best fit for them. For instance, do not try to sell people packages that they can't afford. If you do that, if somebody comes in and they tell you that their budget is $5,000 and you start trying to sell them your $12,000 package, you are going to lose trust with those people very, very quickly. Instead, build value in your products and sell them products one at a time so that when they come back at a, at a different day, maybe they're gonna buy another package and you could eventually get to those higher numbers. But if you try to sell them something that is not in their budget upfront, immediately they're gonna lose trust. In addition to that, things like your response time, things like making sure that you're getting back to them in a prompt matter, manner, making sure that you are on time for all of your meetings, these are things that help develop or destroy trust. So make sure that you keep that in mind when you are building out all of your sales processes and make sure you do a good job of making sure that your clients trust you. Okay. The last thing that you do after you develop that trust is you want to educate them about your offer. If you educate them about your offer and educate them about the, the money that they're spending and why it's worth that, okay, people are going to be much more happy to spend it with you. But if you didn't take the time to put all of the other steps into place before you start talking about the money, people are not going to buy from you because you have not established your value. It is incredibly important to make sure that you talk to them and educate them about what they are purchasing, why it's worth what you, what you were selling it for, and the value that they are gonna get out of it in order to close the deal. All right, so there you have it. That is the Elevate Framework. This is incredibly important for a successful foundation for your business. Take the things that I've taught you today, implement them into your business tomorrow, and you're going to start building the foundation for a successful business. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next month in Shutter Magazine.